so I'm uh, Rick Hartley, uh, osteopath at Hel uh, Biomechanics Healthcare, and I was going to do a few uh, video blogs on various parts of rehab. So today we're covering um, a few ideas um, on how to help your Achilles pain, which is quite common in runners, but in, in, in everyday life as well. Um, so uh, this application is just based on neurodynamics. Um, there are many other ways of, of, of treating this. This is just one, one way of, of maybe approaching it. Uh, and we're gonna, we're gonna try and floss and stretch uh, a bit of a, a sciatic nerve or a branch of the sciatic nerve which feeds into the Achilles and, and, the, and the, the proprioception of, of an ankle, which is your feedback of a joint to your brain in, in space and its whereabouts. So first of all, just find some level, um, like a chair or, or a bench or whatever that's at a decent height. It's not too much of a stress for you to get your leg there. Um, place your symptomatic side on the on the chair make sure your body's nice and tall first of all you're going to push your heel away and pull your toes towards you that instantly should give you a little bit of tension in the calf or the hamstring or the back or wherever and from there keeping that heel pushed away your toes pulled towards you you're going to take the palm of your foot to the inside so you're going to keep that position there that's key so you have to just keep that that rigid and then from there you're going to from a nice posture, drop your chin down towards your chest. That may start to increase a little bit of tension in the foot, the ankle, along the side of the calf here or, or in your hamstring. If that doesn't, then just take it a little bit further into a bit of a slump until you find some sort of tension. So for me, that's around about there. It only wants to be about a three out of 10 in terms of effort. So you don't want to go too far. And then from there, you're going to roll into that stretch and then come back out. So as soon as you feel this stretch in that area, just kind of visit that area, don't push it too far, and then just ease yourself out. You don't want to bounce into it, you don't want to go way beyond that range of motion, you don't want to lose the knee bend, you don't want to lose the foot. So do maybe six repetitions from the top, and then you can start to play with a few ideas. So you can roll into it, find that stretch, and then bend in the knee, and then push away. So you just bend at the knee and then push that heel away, locking your leg out. Same again, you'll just find a different, slightly different sensation. You might even find the stretch in a different area. Okay, so ease, ease yourself out of that. You want to do a few reps, maybe sort of six to seven reps each time, just in case you don't, so just in case you're not going to push it too far or, or injure yourself. Then from that position there, you're going to plant your foot and turn your palm of your foot towards the same direction. And again, just wind up from the top. Have a little slump, same again, or about the same range of motion there, but this time I'm getting a sense across the back of the foot. Ease out of that, and then just repeat again. About six repetitions, just nice and easy. Once you've reached your six, you can have a little play with a different range, so maybe just bend that knee, keeping that tension on and see how that feels. And again, then just come out of that. Eat yourself out, shake your leg out, um, and then start maybe just applying a few stretches through the calf or some, uh, or, or start your exercise program again, and just see how it feels compared to how it felt before. If it continues, then maybe that's not the ideal sort of exercise for you, um, and it might be worth just coming in and getting checked out. Uh, maybe there's some biomechanics of the foot as an issue or or the hip, um, and we'll be happy to have a look. All right, thanks for listening.